Hello, I am Mudita, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today, I want to show you the blueprint I used to split a belt to have three sevens go one way and four sevens the other. Let's jump straight into it. Real quickly before we get into the actual blueprint, let's go over a seven way split. And somebody so hopefully pointed out, I should use a more noticeable color so you can tell the difference between a merger and a splitter. So thank you for that. I keep using the new finishes because I love them so much, but they aren't great for these examples. So thank you for pointing that out. All right, so this is basically what you need. The initial amount would plug into this merger, and then we're gonna go straight into a splitter. That's gonna get split in half. And then those are gonna get split in half. And then one last time, we'll split these in half. And there we have two, four, six, here's our seventh. But to make sure everything is equal, we need to make sure that we're splitting this in half. And so we're going to loop this back into that initial merger. And for those interested, I'll throw the math equation that me and my friend came up with to explain what's going on with this loop back and kind of the limit of it for each of the different prime splits that you could use this for. This will take one belt and turn it into seven equal splits. So if you need seven machines, this is a great way to do it. But there's plenty of times where I need to split things off in, you know, two sevenths or three sevenths. And so I don't always need to split this all seven ways. So let me walk you through this one real quick. Just like over there, we're gonna start with a merger. And then we're gonna go to a splitter, and because I like to be able to change the belt speed, I'm gonna just go ahead and set it one meter apart. That's the first splitter. Here's the second splitter. And then here would be the third. Because I know I'm gonna need three layers of splitters to get down to a seventh. All right, as far as the belts go, I'm gonna just use Mark three, just so anybody that downloads this off the Google Drive can use it. Just remember, if you're gonna use higher amounts, you may need to change these speeds. But from the merger, we go straight into the splitter. The splitter is gonna get split in half, so let's go ahead and just put this here. So if this was full, this would be 135, so we would still need a Mark III. This one is then also gonna get split in half. Now for this one, we're gonna go ahead and just place a merger right here. We'll go ahead and make this one Mark II, because if that one was 135, this one would be a Mark II. <laughs> More than 60, less than 120. And then that one is going to get split in half. And then from here, we split this one in half, and we're going to use Mark I belts. So this can go into this merger. And this one is going to loop back, and use default mode, into the original merger. So this is that belt right there. And this right here is basically one whole half. So it's not the half that's getting looped back, right? Because that would be the other half. So that belt is this whole thing right here. So that would equal the four sevens. And this is where I just add my display signs. So this splitter would be four sevens, which would make this merger because that would be four, split it in half. So here is two, split that one in half. There's the one, and then that's the part that gets looped back. So here is our three sevens, here is our four sevens. You could rearrange this in plenty of different ways. You could even make it much more compact. Because I like to be able to change the belt speeds, I like to give it just that little bit of space. The question some of you are probably asking, where in the world would I use this? Oddly enough, I've used all sorts of random ratio splits like this to get the exact number that I'm looking for because not everything ends up in nice even numbers of fives and tens. But here's a realistic example of where I use this in a load balance playthrough. If you're gonna use the default motor recipe using rotors and stators, stators, the default recipe is steel pipe and wire. For rotors, the default is rods and screws. However, there's a really convenient recipe down here that also uses steel pipe and wire. And this is one of my favorite combos to use. It simplifies things and then I can just come up with two numbers, how much steel pipe, how many wires, and that will give me my motors. 
Here's a flowchart using those alternate recipes to make 10 motors. So as you can see, pretty convenient numbers you're working with when they end up in. So pretty convenient numbers we're working with because both the rotors, the stators, and the motors are made in multiples of five. With the steel pipes, 40 go to rotors, 60 go to stators. That would use the two-fifths and three-fifths split that I made a video for a couple weeks ago. The wire, however, is 120 and 160. This would be our three-sevenths and four-sevenths split. Now I realize this isn't really the best example because most of you would say just put a splitter down and use a Mark II belt and it'll keep that one full. And so I want to give you a more realistic example. Let me load up my main save. For storage, I'm making 10 a minute, so doing this was really easy. I could just group up the correct amount of machines since these output at 30 a minute and link it to the right recipe, either rotors or the stators. However, go over to the turbo motor side. So this room right here is actually feeding the turbo motor room that's upstairs and all 18 motors are headed upstairs. So let's take a look at this one because the numbers don't work out quite as nicely. This first step is taking 720 iron ingots and turning it into 180 steel pipes. The next step is taking 280 iron ingots and turning that into 504 wire using the iron wire alternate recipe. And here we have the load balancing to split them to go to rotors and stators. So as I mentioned before, for the steel pipes, I'm just using my two fists and three fists blueprint. And for the wire, I'm just using my 3 sevenths and 4 sevenths. 504 wire is just not a convenient number to work with, pretty much no matter how you look at it. These blueprints are great. I can just kind of slap them down. I've got my one input, and now I've got my two outputs. And then I can just plug them into my next set of blueprints to continue the load balance madness. And that is going to do it for this one. If you have any questions about this or suggestions for future splits or any other of these kind of short load balancing videos, please leave them in the comments. I'll look forward to those. And thanks for watching.